So today I'm at the range with a Smith & Wesson model 52-2 38 Special Wad Cutter Semi-Automatic Pistol. It has a 5 round magazine. It was designed for bullseye shooting so it's single action only. And uh, it's very accurate firearm. It was pretty much a performance center gun back in the day. This gun here was made in 1977. So let's go shoot it and then we'll talk a little more about it. But first, I have to prep it. Let's load the magazine. It'll take five rounds of 38 wad cutter. These are double enders, reloads. five rounds. Now we'll smoke the sights and then we'll go shoot it. I have some calcium carbide in this smoker kit. What this is going to do is put a light dull powdery finish on the sights so that I can really see them. So we put a couple drops of water, put the cap on, striker, Now we're just going to smoke these sights. This is a common practice in rifle shooting and bullseye shooting with iron sights. You can see how that puts a nice dark finish on there and it allows uh, you to see the rear sight better and the front sight. So it gives you a crystal clear sight picture that way. Little calcium carbide, when you add water, it makes like an acetylene gas and it creates a smoky flame. And that flame is what you use to uh, coat your sights. But it's a very thin powdery coating on your sights. It wipes right off when you're done. But it really makes these sights easier to see. All right, let's get shooting. So I have a target set up at 25 yards. It's basically a small bullseye target. I'm going to use two hands just because i got to check zero on this. I have no idea where it's going to shoot. I just picked it up at auction, cleaned it thoroughly, inspected it thoroughly. Now I want to take the first shots with it. So here we go. Well, it functions good, shoots good, very low recoil. The trigger is awesome. It's probably about a two and a half pound trigger. And it looks like, from what I can see, it looks like it's pretty much close to dead on. Let's go take a look. So there's the target. It's, uh, as compared to my hand, it's probably about a three inch black circle there. Not bad for offhand, first time shooting it. Definitely got the accuracy going with it. I bet off the bench I could even do better. Let's try it at 50. So there's a target at 50. It's uh, an old military rifle target, but I think it'll serve the purpose for what we're looking to do here. And 50 yards is quite a distance compared to 25. Okay, so let's try it at 50. The target's set up. It's a larger target, but I'm going to still shoot two-handed because I'm trying to look for accuracy and check zero on this. Then I'll make some adjustments. Here we go, 50 yards. Well, it felt pretty good. Let's go check out the target. A little bit of a spread there at 50 yards, but that could have been pretty much me. Those two 
wide ones there were probably me. I called them a little bit. I called the left one. The right one I didn't know about. But um, I'm going to go back and let's bench rest it and see what the difference is. I put up a fresh target at 50 yards. I'm going to use this barrel as a solid rest and we're going to see if I can get a better group with it. Let's give it a try. Well, I must say, for 38 Special Wad Cutter, it is functioning perfectly. Um, the magazine is working great. The gun is working great. Let's go check the group. So there's the target. Not bad for uh, first time shooting it. Not really used to the trigger. But it shot pretty well. It's not a bad 50-yard group, considering um, I'm not really that familiar with the firearm at this point. Very good. I think, it can, I, think I can do better with tailoring the load and... Uh, Getting used to the gun and the sights, I think I can do better than that. Let's try one-handed, bullseye style, at the falling plates. Works pretty good. Awesome. So in my hands is the Smith & Wesson model 52-2 38 Special Wad Cutter Semi-Automatic Pistol. It takes a 5 round magazine. It's kind of a unique magazine because 38 Special really wasn't designed to be fired out of a semi-automatic pistol. And it was designed for bullseye shooting back in the day. So in 1960 they came out with the model 52 and then at some time later it was a 52-1 and then uh, this model here came out in the 70s with the A prefix. And this one had all the previous modifications done to it. So this was the model that I think you'd want to have. It has uh, it's all the updates and then basically they made this model exactly like this for the next 20, 23 years afterward. They stopped making them in the late mid to late 90s um, just because the machining was kind of getting tired. And the factory decided it wasn't worth retooling up to make them again and they kind of stopped making them. I think it's a pretty nice looking gun. I like the looks of it. I didn't like the original grips that came on it when I picked it up. It had Herrett grips on it. I'm definitely going to keep them. But these grips work great. Uh, they're the original style grips. I happened to find them in a local store. They were new old stock. Uh, the Model 39 and the Model 52 take the exact same grip. So you saw how accurate this was. I'm very impressed with it. It um, I think it'll do much better if I can get used to the trigger pull and kind of figure out how to shoot it. It's going to be more on me tuning myself up. This gun is much more accurate than I can be at this point. I just loaded some of my old-fashioned wad cutter target loads from back in my old PPC days, and we're talking back in the 80s, and uh, that load seemed to do pretty good just right out of the box. I think I could do better if I tailored the load for it and got used to the trigger. It's a unique firearm. It was made in 1977, this particular model. It's very accurate. The trigger is adjustable. You got over travel adjustment. You got trigger adjustment. It's pretty much tuned right the way I would like it. I'm not touching anything. It was very dirty when I first picked it up from auction and I had to give it a good cleaning, but I don't think it's been shot much. It almost appeared that someone fired it, got it dirty, and then put it away back in their safe and never really shot it after that. I'm really happy with it. It's a very unique firearm. It's, it was purpose built by the Performance Center for bullseye shooting at 25 yards and in. Uh, I think it'll do good out to 50. I remember guys back in the day using this in police pistol competition and we were all using revolvers and we uh, were jealous of guys who had the semi-automatic because the trigger pull was what you were looking for. It was a really nice trigger pull and it was semi-auto and all you needed was six rounds in a magazine and I believe they would have modified the magazines back in the day to hold one more round. I'm not going to mess with this one. I'm going to leave it all original. I have the gun, uh, three magazines with it and all the accoutrements, the uh, cleaning kit and everything in the box. I was lucky to be able to get that all together like that. Usually you don't find them all in one piece. 
But there you have it. The Smith & Wesson Model 52-2 Semi-Automatic 38 Special Wad Cutter. <laughs>